Good morning everyone or afternoon where you are. Um, I am going to do a little bit of a Tenerife news update even though I am here in Florida on holiday at the moment. I am keeping my finger on the pulse of uh, Tenerife. There's been quite a few uh, bits of news, quite a few changes with restrictions, with new rules etc. So I'm going to run through absolutely everything today for you. I've had a lot of messages and emails, you know, we're missing you, we need this update. So I figured I'd do it. I've got a little bit of time now to do it. So not a problem at all. If you are new here, make sure you do subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Uh, there's loads of Tenerife content on the channel and soon to be loads of Florida content as well. So starting off um, with a COVID update where we always do, and there is um, still quite a bit of a steady increase uh, the latest data has informed that December has started with 396 new cases of coronavirus today, and that was yesterday. Uh, in this, the sixth wave, they have also confirmed four COVID-related deaths, three in Gran Canaria and one in Tenerife, all aged over 68 with previous um, health issues. In terms of new cases, uh, Gran Canaria 185, Tenerife 135, Fuerteventura with 30, Lanzarote 27, uh, La Palma 18, that's really jumped up, and La Gomera 1 and El Hierro none. And in terms of overall on all of the islands, in terms of active cases across all the islands, there's 3,722. 3, Gran Canaria have got 1,596. Tenerife with 1,591, Fuerteventura 302, Lanzarote 161, La Palma 57, La Gomera 14 and El Hierro 1. So it is quite a bit of a big increase in Gran Canaria and Tenerife in particular. They are the big two uh, main islands so we have seen a little bit of a jump with that and we've seen a response from both of the governments which I'm going to run through now. We've got a response from the government in Spain and we've got a response from the government in the UK particularly with the new variant that is starting to come up, come about now. They are responding and implying a few new restrictions which I will run through with you now. So new rules for entering Spain or Tenerife and um, this is as I understand it. I have read through quite a few articles and read it all it can be a little bit confusing but now if you do want to enter Spain or the Canaries or Tenerife you need to be fully vaccinated a PCR test or an antigen test or a lateral flow is no longer uh, valid you have to be fully vaccinated and show your double vaccination certificate if you haven't got that then unfortunately you will not be able to enter Spain at least up until um, the end of December when they may change it back they're not sure they're just concerned of a little bit of an increase over Christmas, so they have implied that extra little restriction, especially with this new variant coming around. Um, now, that does mean a little bit of an issue for um, if you are travelling with families, because obviously they do want children over 12 to be vaccinated. And in the UK, uh, 12 to 15 year olds are not really being double vaccinated yet. So if you're travelling with children, do check that. A lot of people have had to cancel for that reason. So basically, if you've double vaccinated, you'll be absolutely fine. You can travel. You don't need a test. You can go and have a great time. You do still have to wear your masks inside, keep your distance, etc. Uh, but yeah, that is the new rule for entering Spain. Now, there is a new rule for entering the UK as well when you finish your holiday. So uh, that has now changed. You need to have a day two PCR test. So no more antigen or lateral flow, it has to be a PCR, which is the more expensive one, because they do want to detect that new variant on these tests, so it seems. And now you can have that done the minute you get back up until the end of day two. So there was a bit of confusion there. A few people said, it's, oh, you've got to have it on the second day. It's from either between the minute you arrive up until the end of day two, you need to get that test and get a negative result. Until you have that negative result, you cannot go out you have to quarantine until you've got that official um, notification that you're negative and then you can then go back out but from the minute you arrive until up until the end of day two you would have to quarantine until you get the negative result and if you do obviously test positive then you have to be uh, very careful and quarantine with that as well so I can see why they have done it you've got two possible cases of the Omicron variant in the Canaries now as well they are being sequenced and checked. They had two South African um, 
natives test positive so they are doing extra tests to check if it is the new variant hopefully not but you can see why they've put these extra restrictions in and they've made it a more um, advanced test just to try and detect this new variant they are quite worried about it and uh, that has caused a bit of confusion as well there is an article here um, Spain's restrictions not the UK's are causing holiday cancellations so it's not down to the UK changing it to a PCR test because as it says here people have been doing them for ages it's not really a problem bit of a price increase but not too bad but it's the Spain with the vaccinations that are causing cancellations I've had cancellations with the cars as well people are not able to travel um, on the same day that uh, Boris announced the test changes Spain did announce that you would have to be fully vaccinated um, which applies to anyone aged 12 or over children under 12 are exempt so if you're 12 and over you'd need to be fully vaccinated it creates a huge problem for families 12 to 15 year olds because they're not at the moment getting the double jab in the UK so quite a few cancellations for Christmas which is a bit of a shame um, but it is what it is not really too much we can do unfortunately uh, looking at another article here um, the Canary Islands are considering raising the capital islands to risk level two after the bridge so after Christmas they're talking about potentially moving us up um, into level two uh, increasing restrictions on the capital islands after December bridge uh, both Tenerife and Gran Canaria maintain an upward trend of infections more pronounced in the latter however after the modification of the thresholds of the national covid traffic lights so the criteria did change and um, they do think that we may move into a level two even with the new bracket levels so just gonna have to keep an eye we need the cases to come down this is what i said in the last update these cases need to drop otherwise we are going to start moving up levels uh, I think Fred Ventura is now in level three as well now. So really got to keep an eye on these levels and get them down if we can. We've seen other responses from other countries as well. Germany now introduces major restrictions for unvaccinated people. So if you're not vaccinated, I think you will start to find difficulties traveling to various places. I'm here in Florida, but I had to be fully vaccinated to get in. And I did have to have a PCR test to get here as well. So I think you're going to see... Uh, quite a few changes there's another article here uh, eu calls for mandatory vaccination against coronavirus to be discussed so they really are pushing people to get vaccinated if you can um, and i think as i said you're going to struggle to start being able to travel to different places if you're not and that's the main bit of news that i needed to run through really was those changes that's what everyone was asking me about for a little bit of clarity i hope i did explain that well so if you plan on going to tenerife or spain got to be fully vaccinated uh, if you're not you won't be able to get in if you're planning on traveling make sure you do have have a printed copy and have it on your phone of your vaccination certificate or card just have a couple of copies just in case uh, and then you will obviously fill all that in um, that you are fully vaccinated on the spanish traveling form for when you enter and then in terms of returning it's just changed to pcr test uh, with mine when i go back i had an antigen or a um, antigen test booked yet lateral flow and they emailed me and said it's now changed do you want to upgrade your test to the PCR and they allowed me to pay the difference from what I'd already paid to upgrade it to a PCR test so you will find quite a few of the companies are being quite fair with it and that you just pay the difference and upgrade to a PCR which is mainly all down to this new uh, variance that is knocking around hopefully uh, won't be too bad but they are plainly quite fearful of it uh, if you do have any other information that I may have missed, do please drop it in the comments. Everyone does read through them, and I am human. I probably missed something there. I hope I didn't. Uh, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Plenty of Tenerife videos on the way and already on the channel. Excursions, live streams, all kinds on there. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You can see what I'm up to here in Florida at the moment. And for now, that is going to be it. Hopefully, no more bad news. Hopefully, we'll start to come back with more positive news. But those changes mainly having issues with families, with children. That is the main areas that is being affected. I've had quite a few emails with cancellations already, unfortunately. But people are still taking those slots. There's still plenty of travel going to Tenerife. There's uh, still plenty of couples and people who do qualify to get over there. So, fingers crossed, we will uh, level out. Uh, thank you very much for watching, stride on, stay safe and um, 
hopefully see you soon.